yesterday we were introduced to some of the new Houston Rockets. That means Fred Van Vliet. That means Dylan Brooks. It means Amen Thompson, among others. But we also heard from new head coach Ime Udoka, who had some interesting things to say about the shift from where this team was with Steven Silas to where they are with him. He was stressing development, but also said some of the things that were done in the past aren't going to be done here. Subtle shot at the guys before him, but an understandable shot. Steven Silas seemed like a nice guy. He also seemed like somebody that was not about accountability. And that's an interesting word. Because Rafael Stone, the general manager of the Houston Rockets, also spoke to the media. He was asked, after delivering an opening statement on Kevin Porter Jr., about what the future is with Kevin Porter Jr. in the Houston Rockets. Here is the general manager. Let me start by making a brief statement about Kevin Porter Jr. Um, the allegations against him are deeply troubling. Going back uh, a few weeks, as soon as I heard the allegations, <clears throat> I informed his representatives that he could not be part of the Houston Rockets. They understood, and he has not been with the team or around the team or had any interaction with the team since that time and will not be at media day today or in training camp. Um, as it relates to everything else, these are matters that under the CBA are handled by the league, not the team. And what's left for the team to do is to evaluate the step, the best steps for our organization um, that remain in compliance with the league domestic violence policy. It is something else to see Rafael Stone in his first media availability since Kevin Porter Jr.'s alleged assault of his girlfriend, since that ClutchFans.net report about all of the things that the Rockets look the other way on when it comes to Kevin Porter Jr. It is rich, in fact, that at his press conference, Stone immediately passes accountability to the NBA. And whether he is right in saying that is just the way that the collective bargaining process goes when it comes to investigations like this, what a bleep answer. This guy is so full of it. He passed it immediately over to the league. He was asked about the gamble that they took on Kevin Porter Jr., and he gave this mealy mouth answer, and he's lucky today that we're having some internet issues because I would play that for you. The guy is just reeking of bull bleep. He is a BSer. And worst of all, when he was asked about some culture issues in the Rockets organization related to Kevin Porter Jr. by Jackson Gatlin, he said he was unaware of anything like that. Short answer. So he passed the buck to the NBA when it comes to what happens next with Kevin Porter Jr. And on top of that, acted like he wasn't aware of anything going on. What a load of crap. The man is lying. And in any sports market that actually cared about its NBA team, he would be getting eviscerated and crucified as such. I can't believe he's still the general manager of the team. He is not remotely qualified. He no longer has power with Ime Udoka in charge. But go watch that press conference for yourself. It's on YouTube. And tell me that guy isn't completely full of it. I can't believe he said this is now an NBA matter. No, it's a, we gave this guy a million chances matter. And yes, what happened off the court, could the Rockets control that? No, but they could control his employment. 
Stone, while being asked about Kevin Porter Jr.'s status and about the track record before, said, hey, the contract that we gave to Kevin Porter Jr. that gives us an easy out, his past track record had nothing to do with that. This was all about basketball. He is so full of it. How the Rockets have this guy in such a prominent facing role, even if he no longer has power, is a joke. Again, zero qualifications other than he was just in the office. He shifts in here. Based off of that clutchfans.net report, he saw Kevin Porter Jr., as a guy, he could turn into James Harden, minus the whole, you know, James Harden played in an NBA Finals for a good team thing and never had any of the things that are on Kevin Porter Jr.'s track record, which continued, of course, in Houston. And this guy is passing the buck here at this press conference. What a load of crap. I can't believe he's still employed. The Rockets are a joke to me until they get rid of him.